the stop entry tool works off the stake that you have selected at the time. So on the grid, I have 10 pounds selected. If I do shift E, it will place a bet at 1.61 on every runner for 10 pounds. If I now scroll down to 1.61, there's the 10 and there'll be 10 on the next one as well. And as soon as a bet is triggered, it will put the bet in. If I change it to 25 and then do shift E again, it will now place a bet at 1.61 for 25 pound. So it's all stake dependent, which is fine when you're on the grid because there's only one stake that you can select. But on the ladder here, if I pick 10 pounds, 25, 50 for the third horse and 100 for the fourth horse and do shift E, it will place the stake I've selected. So it's got 100 on that one and then it will place 10 on the first one, 25 on the second, 50 on the third. So you need to make sure you've got the same stakes on the ladder because it will do whatever stake is selected. So I'll cancel those bets and I've changed them all back to 10 and then I'll do shift E and now you see it puts in the bets for 10. So just be very careful on the ladder if using the stop entry tool for lay the field. It will use the exact stake that you've got selected or just trigger the bet on the grid and then move to the ladder.